while rich in character, the Nissan Juke isn't really a strong competitor against subcompact SUVs like the Honda HRV and Jeep Renegade. That's where the Nissan Rogue Sport comes in. It's a smaller version of the Rogue we know and love. It's smaller and it's cheaper. That's why we're going to call Zach Vlasic Mike a Sport from this point forward. The Rogue Sport's overall length is more than a foot less than the Rogue on which it's based. Naturally, interior accommodations are tighter, limiting capacity to five versus the Rogue's larger seven passenger option. And cargo space is also reduced from 32 to 22.9 cubic feet behind the second row. Then again, the Rogue Sport's tidier dimensions should play well with the urban dwelling millennials for which it is aimed. Propelling the Rogue Sport is a 2-liter 4-cylinder rated at 141 horsepower and 147 pound-feet of torque. The power is routed to the front wheels via a continuously variable transmission, as is often the case with Nissans, unless, of course, you spring for the optional all-wheel drive version, which sends power to all four wheels. There's no official word yet, but we're guessing pricing will start around $20,000 when the Rogue Sport goes on sale in the spring of 2017. And now, Zach, come say your funny line about the, uh, the, the turbocharged version of the Rogue. No. It was really funny. Zach said that if they made a turbocharged version of the Rogue Sport, it should be called, wait for it, the Rogue Sport Sport. That, that's yeah! That's exactly what I <laughs> Comedy.